I'm Manny Gomes with Guaranteed Rate, and in this video, we're going to break down what it takes to obtain a pre-approval. Uh, first thing I want to talk about are some myths surrounding the pre-approval and obtaining a mortgage. First, you don't need a 20% down payment. Um, you can obtain a loan as with as little as 3% down. Second, you don't have to have stellar credit. You could obtain a mortgage with as low as a 600 credit score. And lastly, that getting a pre-approval is difficult. Uh, gone are the days that you have to actually go in and sit down with the loan officer and spend hours going through your paperwork. Uh, simply going to my online site and filling out the online application will be sufficient to start the process. And it takes about five minutes or so to complete. When a lender is making a decision to grant credit or not grant credit to an individual to obtain a mortgage, they're really looking at four key things. They're looking at your income. How much are you earning? Is it consistent? Is it likely to continue? They're looking at credit. They want to make sure that you have some established credit and that you have been making on-time payments. And if you have missed payments in the past, you can easily address the, and explain them with the letter. So it is okay if you missed a payment in the past on either an auto loan or a credit card. Uh, as long as it's addressed uh, up to an underwriter, they're normally pretty forgiving of those missed payments. Third is down payment. Underwriters want to see that you have some money management skills. They want to know that you've been able to save money for a down payment, and it doesn't have to be a large amount. Uh, as little as 3% can be utilized for a down payment, and it actually could be gifted if you have a family member who's willing to grant a gift. Works out really well if you just started working, you have been paying off your, your debt from school, been paying down debt and haven't saved for that purpose, and you have been paying rent, uh, underwriters do consider family gifts as a viable source for down payment. Uh, lastly is the property. Underwriters are going to want to make sure that you're not overpaying for a property by having it appraised and if, within the appraisal they're going to take a look at the, the condition of the property. Obviously an underwriter that does not want you to purchase a house that's missing a kitchen that has broken piping. They want to make sure that you could just roll right into the property and start living from the day of closing. So now let's take a look at how we calculate what you qualify for. So we're going to take a really a behind the scenes look at how lenders and underwriters calculate what you can typically qualify for. For this example, we're gonna make a couple of assumptions that mimic a real world transaction. First is income. Remember when I talked about income? Obviously that's important. We're gonna assume an $8,000 household income, so about a $96,000 annual income. So right here we have $8,000. Now, underwriters only allow a certain percentage of your income to go towards your mortgage payment, and that includes the principal and interest, the taxes on the property, and the homeowner's insurance. And in some cases, you will have mortgage insurance as well. So typically, the largest percentage that they will allow of your income is about 40%, but they also have to consider all your other monthly expenses that populate on your credit. So let's assume you have auto loans, student loans, or credit cards, that has to be taken into consideration. So cumulatively, no more than 50% of your income could go towards your housing expense and all your other obligations to your creditors. For this example, we're gonna take 45% of the income of 8,000, which once I do the math, it comes out to $3,600 per month. Now remember the other obligations to the creditor, such as your auto loans, student loans, and credit cards. For this example, we're gonna assume it's $1,000 per month, which we have to deduct from this 3,600. This leaves us with a max monthly mortgage payment of 2,600 per month. That's takes into consideration your principal and interest, your taxes, and your homeowner's insurance. And if you're taking out mortgage insurance, it would also take into consideration your mortgage insurance. So what we have to do now is figure out how much mortgage money you could obtain with the $2,600 payment. So the first thing we're gonna do is back out the taxes and insurance, and we're gonna assume that to be about $700 per month. This leaves us with $1,900 as a, a principal and interest payment. And using a financial calculator and take into consideration the current prevailing interest rate, we calculate what that ends up being in mortgage money. 
Now for this example, that comes out to $410,000. Now to establish a purchase price range, you take your down payment, you add it to the $410,000, and that's what you're qualified for. As you can see, it's not that difficult to discover what you qualify for. If you'd like to see for yourself, please click on the link below and follow my online application.